for the invitation. I'm very glad to be here. It's a pleasure. Uh, my name is Khaled Barakay. I'm originally from Syria. I'm born in Syria. I'm based in, in Berlin. I'm an artist. I study uh, art. I practice uh, conceptual art mainly at the moment. I'm not going to talk about my practice. I'm going to talk about co-culture, which is a new form of practice that I'm exploring. It's, um, it's an institution. Um, I found it uh, in 2015. I was living in uh, in, in Denmark, then I moved to, sorry, I have to keep the time up because, um, yeah, so, just, yeah, so, um, yeah, I moved to 2015 with so-called refugee crisis. I like all the time to emphasize calling it a European crisis because the refugee crisis was and still happening uh, s since long time, and it's the, now we have 70 million refugees around the world. So, um, now, this is actually, I don't know if you know this phenomena in trees, it's called crown shyness. It exists in two countries, in uh, Kuala Lumpur and in Argentina. It's basically uh, that the trees to enable to protect each other, they stop growing while they are still connected in their wood. And this is how I think the Syrian society, uh, uh, Syrian society nowadays is, uh, with the fact that they are divided uh, uh, in, in, uh, or spread all over the, the world. So I was thinking how we can reconnect this uh, cultural fabric. How can we bring these people together? So I thought of a project. It's um, uh, really just because there's no time, I'm going to skip so many things because I really would like to uh, go over all the projects. So I founded this project. It's called Syria Cultural Index. It's, it's an online platform and mobile app that aims to map and uh, connect the Syrian artistic community around the world, individuals and institutions. Uh, to counteract the discrement, sorry, uh, discrementation of their identity, excuse my English, uh, to reconnect the cultural fabric by bringing together artists who were for, uh, forcefully uh, displaced with those who remain in the country. Uh, so, um, uh, to, it, it will be kind of research tool. Uh, it, it will allow any third parties to understand the Syrian uh, cultural scene, where they are, what we do, how many we are. Uh, in this case, we will know exactly, uh, we will end it up with database that will allow us to create new programs if we want to create something that will really uh, help the, 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 the cultural scene specifically, not based on uh, expectation, but based on statistics. So, and, uh, so the project is growing. It has several reasons why we are doing this, not only to, to uh, reconnect and map the Syrian cultural scene, but provide opportunities as well to the people. Sorry, really this time and the music, it's so pressuring. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, and then uh, in this case, I thought that, that that might be a useful tool for any, uh, as I said, for any government third parties to, to use it as well to support the cultural scene. So we created the project. We actually, I, I just, I wrote the project uh, proposal. Uh, I, I was applying to, or planning to apply for fund. I missed the deadline, typical artist. And then I en ended up with the proposal. I posted it on Facebook. It reached someone. I tagged everyone on Facebook. It reached someone from Ford Foundation. They were generous to give us support uh, to start the project. So uh, we already did. and. Uh, the, the, we received the money, the money was sent to us, but then it was blocked for quite long time. For three, four months, we didn't know where the money is. Then we figured out that the, the German bank, the corresponding bank of our bank, they blocked the money because the, the initiative has the word Syria or has member with Syrian background. It's pure discrimination. Uh, but we can't do anything. That's their, their right to do so. That, but that helps us actually uh, to, uh, to move forward and to change the, the name from one institution has one project to, uh, an, an, to an institution has several projects. So we named the, 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 the institution Co-Culture. Uh, now Co-Culture has several projects. The index is one of the main projects. The other project is based on the, and the results of the, on, on the index or the, the database. We will know who's living where. We'll know the, where the artists, what they are doing. That will allow us to create the Syrian Biennial. We never had the Syrian Pinale before. The idea is to create a Syrian Pinale that will follow the refugee route. So every edition will take a place in a new country. Um, because Damascus used to be the capital culture of Syria, then it shifted with its makers, right? So it becomes Beirut, then it becomes Istanbul, and now Berlin. What's happening in Berlin now is more important, I think, to what's happening in Syria, uh, really in Damascus, because most of the people had to flee the war. Um, 
Uh, how much time do I have? Okay, so one, uh, uh, so another project we have is called uh, Support the Supporters, which I like it a lot. So basically the concept of co-culture, instead of, uh, of waiting institutions to create us initiatives, let's create the institu institution that create initiatives, because no one will be able to understand our situation more than ourselves, right? So the project has several sub-projects. One of it is a Safe Haven Fellowship. We are receiving every year uh, a fellowship uh, from different countries. Uh, this is the first edition. It's a, it's a, we have an amazing artist, a uh, young female uh, from Libya. To, uh, she has her own organization in, in Libya, but then she had to flee because she was uh, attacked by the militia because there was, in one event, two girls kissing. So anyway, it's a, it's a really, I really invite you to check her and her work. She's really amazing. And now she's part of the, the co-culture team and she will work with us, she will keep working with us as well in the future. So not only for one year, we, we also care for the future of the person. Uh, another project is, uh, that was it, so that's Theo. And uh, this, the second project, I thought it's actually, it's, it's a cool idea to have this idea of creating initiatives. And so what about the, new, the newcomers, the new artists who actually want to contribute to their community but they don't know how because the language, the system, of so, so many things. So we thought to create this mentorship, so you come to us, we don't have money to give you, but we have the team, we have amazing, amazing team, and all the time I say we, because I'm the, just only the face of very uh, uh, amazing people working like really hard. So uh, we, we help professionalize your idea, we, we give you the infrastructure we have, and then we, uh, uh, our fundraiser try to find you fund as well to make your, uh, your idea an, an initiative that create an, uh, projects. Uh, the third project is called Giving Spaces. Uh, Giving Spaces is based, uh, it's a structure that based on, on uh, it's super Adobe structure, if you are familiar with it. It's based on American, uh, the, in, in north of Syria we used to have this, uh, this structure. And uh, we ha uh, there's an American uh, Iranian architect, his name is Nader Khalili, he passed away a few years ago. He developed something called uh, Ecodome, where he used, uses basically the uh, plastic bag, he filled it with earth to build this kind of structure. So what we are doing now, we're inviting 20 artists and activists and architects, uh, architects from the MENA region, from the conflict zone, to come to, to, uh, to co-culture uh, backyard. We have amazing space, I will show it to you in one second, uh, to build actually this, to learn how to build this, uh, this structure, to go back to their community, to teach their community how uh, to build this uh, uh, this housing, and it's eco-friendly, it's sustainable, it's very cheap to build as well. Um, um, it has many reasons. I, I will come back, maybe if there's enough time, I will come back to each project. The last project, which is the fourth project, it's called Makan. Makan in, in Arabic, it means uh, space. Uh, we were lucky to get this amazing building, uh, just designed just recently by very famous uh, German architect, uh, Brandon Huber, and it's located in a kind of immigrant area in, in, in uh, Widing in Berlin. And we, uh, we were lucky to have the event space. It's a, it's a very big event space. It's, it's very big, it's very beautiful. So it, it, we, ha we want to have it as a safe space for our community where we meet regularly, we have exhibitions, we have well, workshops, talks. Uh, also, we allow, it, we allow other institutions to exist as well who have no spaces as well, right? So, for example, if you have, uh, if you have an institution but you don't have a space and you, don't, you want to show your, your um, uh, uh, use the space that we basically disappear as an institution, we give it to you for three days or one week uh, per month. Or, so you come, you, we, you don't see co-culture at all, you see Hamish or you see other institutions who work and um, also try to support their communities. At the same time, we have uh, the, the business model we're creating. It's, very, it's quite expensive, actually, to rent the space. So we rent it out. Three entities, my studio, co-culture, I have a business partner. And then we rent it out commercially for high rent to support our uh, cultural, uh, to kind of sustain ourselves. Of course, we have also, uh, all the time, we, we have uh, support from different funders. So now, since this is kind of the, the, the brief of all the projects, so now I can, I think, talk a little bit more in details about uh, the project, if there's still time before. Maybe there's a few minutes. So uh, with, the, with the Syria Cultural Index, as a, I will just go back to the first project. As I said, it's, a, it's an online platform. The idea is to help artists, also to give them the power to create and to decide even the, the, the future of this platform. So each 
profile members or each, each member will have a, they have a profile, they will have a share. So it will be owned by the, by the artists themselves. It's a way of also democratizing the scene because in this, uh, in this way you can reach opportunities based on uh, 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 each person, their age, their location, their profession, etc. And the idea, we are now at the moment mapping the, the uh, visual art, the Syrian visual art, then we want to shift it later to have it more for uh, music, uh, cinema, etc. And then we want to open and send it will cost fortunate amount of money to other nation in the conflict zone. So it will be cultural index slash Libya slash Yemen, etc. etc. The concept is very simple. If we can't stay at home, let's carry home with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.